Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another short uh, short project video. In this video, we're gonna create a simple slider component with jQuery. Okay, now this is gonna be really easy uh, because I want this to be a really quick video, much like the, the JavaScript one I did. Um, basically, we have a slider here and we have some arrow but buttons and we can just navigate through the images here. We can also go back. So it's gonna be very simple and it's meant to be very simple. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I have uh, a, fo a folder called JQ Slider with an images folder and inside there we have the arrow images as well as four images here. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description for you guys to download those. Alright so let's go ahead and start to create our files. I'm gonna create a file here called index.html Okay, and then we're going to also create a new folder called JS. And inside there, we're going to create a new file. And we're going to call that main.js. Okay, then we're going to create a CSS folder. And let's create a file here called style.css. Okay, so that's all the files and folders we need. And you can see I have Atom open. Um, of course, you can use whatever text editor you want. And we're gonna open up index.html. And let's just put in our basic tags here. So we're using um, HTML5. So we're just gonna use the HTML doc type. And then we'll open up our HTML tags. We're gonna have a head. And inside the head, let's put a title and we'll just say JQ slider. Okay, and then we wanna link our CSS file. Okay, let's say CSS slash style.css, whoops. And we also want to uh, bring in jQuery. So I'm going to go to code.jQuery.com and you just want to click on uh, one of these. We're going to use uh, 3.1.1 and we'll just grab this script tag here and paste it in right there. Okay, then of course we need to include our own script. So that's going to be js slash main.js and that should be it for the head area. Okay, so now let's create our body tags. And this is gonna be very minimal, uh, and I want, I want it that way. You guys can add on to it if you want. So we're gonna have a div here wrapping around everything. And we're gonna give it a class of container. Okay, and then inside there, let's put an H1. We'll say JQ slider. And then we're going to put a div with the class of slider outer. Okay, so this is the outer div. And in here, basically, we're going to have our arrow images and then the um, you know the main images in between. So let's do the arrow left. So source is going to be um, let's say images slash and what did I call it? Arrow left dot PNG. And we're also gonna give this a class of prev and also an alt tag of prev with a capital P. All right, and then let's put the div here. This will be the slider inner div that contains the four images. Okay, and you can add more if you want. Uh, and we'll do that in a second, but down here, let's put the right arrow. So I'm just gonna copy that, paste that in. Let's change this to right, and let's change this to next, and change this to next. Okay, so now we wanna put the rest of our images. So let's say image source, and we're gonna put this on images slash image1.jpg okay now this is the initial image that's going to show when we enter the script so we want to give this a class of active alright and then let's give it uh, actually that's it 
okay and how this slider is going to work is that each time we change it when we click the arrow button it's going to move the cla the active class to the next image and also change the z index so let's go ahead and put in the rest of the images here without the active class so image 2.jpg and I'll just copy this and if you want to add more images that's fine it's scalable and that's it for the HTML so let's open this up and see what it looks like so far okay so that's what it should look like not too pretty but um, you know we need to add our CSS so let's do that now so we'll go to our style and I'm just gonna paste each style in one by one instead of typing it just to save some time so the body we have Arial uh, 14 pixels color white and the background is going to be a dark gray all right then we have the links which will be white with no decoration the one h1 we have I want to align it to the center okay the container which wraps around everything is going to be 540 pixels and it's going to have a 40 pixel top and bottom margin and an auto left and right and then also an auto overflow okay next we have the slider inner class which you want to set to the same height and width as your images if you're using uh, bigger images make sure that you adjust this okay and that's going to be positioned relative hidden overflow float left padding and border okay now for the image inside the slider inner we're going to display none so basically uh, we want them we want them all hidden at first okay and then we're also setting the width and the height to the actual image size okay now what we're doing here is taking the image that has the active class and we're gonna show it and we're displaying it as an inline block okay so we're initially hiding everything with uh, what the hell is it where is it oh right here display none uh, we're initially hiding everything and then we're gonna show just the active image now for the previous and next we want them both to float left we want to give them a margin top we also want to make sure that the mouse change to a, changes to a pointer uh, when it hovers over them and then we're going to take just the previous and we're going to set the margin right to negative 45 also the z index to 100 because it should always be on top okay if you don't know what z index is if you have two elements in the same spot the higher the z index the higher the priority is on showing it if you have a lower Z index, it'll it'll go under that element. Okay, and then for next, we're doing the same thing. We're just setting margin left instead of margin right. So let's save that and reload, and it gives us our slider, just no functionality. If I click this, nothing happens. So that's where jQuery comes in. So let's open up our main JS, and this is going to be pretty simple. So basically, we're using jQuery, so we need to make sure that the document is ready so document dot ready and then when it is it'll run a function all right now what we want to do is grab on to the next class which is this arrow button and we want to add a click event okay so let's do uh, let's see dot next and we're gonna say you could do dot click but I'm gonna say dot on and then put click in here okay so on a click this function will run. So just to test that out, let's say console log and we'll just say clicked. Okay, we'll reload, open up the uh, browser console with F12 and if I click that, down here we get clicked. So we know that that file is connected and working. So now we're going to create a variable for the current image and a variable for the next image. Okay, so var current IMG equals and of course that's the one that has the active class initially and then we'll create a variable for next image and let's set that to the current image uh, current image dot next which will grab the next element okay that's a jQuery function then what we want to do is test to see if there is a next so we can say if next image dot length okay if it's you know greater than zero 
then we want to remove the active class from this image and put it on to the next one. So we'll say current uh, current img dot remove class and we want to remove the active class. Okay, and then we also want to change the z index so that we put it on top. Okay, so for that we'll just use um, what we want to say dot css and that allows us to change any kind of style we want for that element. And we're going to save, we're going to set the index to negative 10 to put it underneath. And then we're going to take the next image and we're going to call add class and we're going to add active. And then we'll also change the z index and we're going to change that to positive 10. So that's going to put the next one on top. Okay, so very, very simple logic. We'll save that, reload, and now we can switch, we can go forward. We can't go backwards, we haven't done that yet. So to do that, it's going to be very, very similar to this. So I'm just going to copy it. And we're going to change next to prev. And so let's see, we're going to current image active, and then prev image. Uh, prev image we're going to set to current image dot prev which is a jQuery function okay and then we're going to test for it see if there is a previous image and then we're going to remove the class from the current image just like we did before and then add the class to the previous image and that should do it so let's save and reload we can go forward we can also go backwards all right so that's it very very simple um, I, I'm gonna leave it open for you guys to add the functionality where it gets to the end and then it cycles over again um, so kind of <laughs> guess, guess I'll kind of give you some homework uh, so try and figure that out and hopefully you enjoyed this and that's it I will see you in the next video